It's ironic that our final interview at WrestleCon here in New York City on WrestleMania 35 weekend is with the brand ambassador of WrestleCon. I'm talking about friend of the show, actually, Road Warrior Animal. Road Warrior Animal, how are you, sir? Bro, what a way to wrap up a terrific weekend, right? With the ambassador of WrestleCon. You know, I started off with Ric Flair in the ring. And too bad he's not here right now because I'd hit him over the head with a belt. <laughs> so uh, when you talk, think about WrestleMania, I know you guys, you and uh, your partner were in many. Uh, what's your favorite WrestleMania memory? You know, I think sometimes, you know, we did uh, the thing with Ahmed Johnson in Chicago, you know, and, and then we came back in Indianapolis for WrestleMania. And, you know, I, I, WrestleMania is just a culmination of great events. It, it, listen, it's it's the Super Bowl of our business, right? So when you have WrestleCon now compared, you know, combined with WrestleMania and then all the other companies that are growing now, which is great for the business and sure. great for the fans, it's, uh, it, it's a great time in pro wrestling right now. And uh, what can we expect from you in the future? You got to pop up anywhere? You talk about all these new companies. Man, you never know, bro. I may pop up with you know, all elite. You never know. I may pop up in Ring of Honor. You know, I got a couple guys of War Kings. I walk down to the ring every once in a while. You know, Jackson Crimson, they're doing really well. You know, I've been talking to All Japan and New Japan about doing some stuff. You never know, man. You know, because Hawk and I spent a lot of time over in the Orient, you know. So, sure. it, 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 you never know. Animal. Hey, listen, the yellow D's living forever, man. What are you going to do? I'd be remiss if I didn't end by asking you, how, how's your son doing? He's doing good, man. You know, he's on the Big Ten Network. Does the Big Ten wrap up at the end of the week? And uh, he uh, just went in the, uh, the Buckeye Hall of Fame for Ohio State. And uh, he's happy. As he's on the ESPN radio show there in Columbus. And uh, he's, he's just relaxing, man, enjoying life. Fantastic. I remember when he was still in college and now his career is over. It goes by like Bro, that. Bro, eight years in the NFL. You know, I got my older boy, Joe, who uh, served over in Iraq for a couple oh, wars. Thank my you daughter, for Jessica. Service. Yeah, man, no problem. You know, and so, yeah, man, he, he's, he's happy. He's retired. Tired, so he's everybody keeps asking are you going to get into wrestling business he goes hell no dad I watched what you did I don't want to go near it you know so hey where could uh, the fans find you on social media man you can get to my Facebook at Joseph Laurinaitis my normal name and then you go I got what a rush podcast you know you go at RW animal a Twitter handle so or you go what a rush pod.com so reach me there man I got a great one coming out with Jay Lethal first non ww whatever champion to be in the garden that right. sold out right that's awesome man and you know he was a great great interview so yeah man a lot of good things are happening all right great to see you the brand ambassador for WrestleCon, the legendary road warrior animal finishing things up here from new york mm -hmm.